hello everyone thank you for tuning in in today's recipe i will be showing you how to cook the perfect nigerian fried rice i am rosie and you are welcome to my kitchen for this recipe i will be using this rice you can use any rice of your choice fresh vegetables you can use the frozen ones as well shrimps liver if you don't eat meat you can leave this out curry powder thyme chicken season salt here i have some fresh herbs which i will be using for marinades I will be blending the pepper, onions, ginger, and garlic into a smooth paste. And that is done. Over here, I have the chicken, which I'll be using the stock to make the rice. And I'll go ahead to marinate the chicken. You can use any season or spices you like to marinate the meat you are cooking with. For Nigerian fried rice, the stock is the base. And it's best to use either chicken or turkey stock. Once all the spices are in there, I'll mix everything together. You can leave it to marinate for some time before you start cooking, but I'll go ahead to start cooking this one. Next, in a different pot, I will add in the liver and marinate the liver as well. I'm cooking the liver separately because the, the stock is usually dark. It's going to affect the stock of the chicken. Mix everything together. I will cover and leave it to cook and this doesn't take time to cook. The liver is be cooking now for about 15 minutes. I will check if it's ready. And at this point, the liver is ready and I will transfer it into a baking basket. I'm going to be grilling the liver. Free free to fry if you prefer the fried ones. And I'll be grilling it at 350 degree Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. So next, here is the chicken. The chicken is be cooking now for about 30 minutes. I will check if the chicken is ready. And the chicken is ready. I will take that off the stove as well. So next, strain out the chicken stock. And I'm going to throw those ones away. We are using just the stock. And I will put that aside. Next, I will be washing the rice until the water is clear. For this rice, I wash it for about three to four times. The rice doesn't have a lot of starch. For other rice, I normally wash for about five to six times. And I will strain it out. And I will repeat the process until it is clean. I will transfer the rice into a strainer and leave it to drain out. Next, add the chicken stock inside the pot. Add the washed rice. Add hot water to cover the rice. 
and stir at this point you can test if you need any more seasoning then you go ahead to adjust i will season with curry powder and with thyme and then stir and i'll be leaving the rice to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes on medium heat in a bowl i will add in all the diced vegetables for fried rice, you want to make sure all the vegetables are prepped down before you start cooking. I will season with black pepper, chicken season, salt, curry powder, and time and I'll mix everything together seasoning the vegetables before using it we make all the season enter the vegetable very well and this will take the fried rice to whole another level I will cover and leave it to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes next the rice is be cooking now for about 20 minutes i'll go ahead to check if the rice is ready and at this point the rice is ready and we'll put that aside in a pan i'll be adding in some olive oil you can use any oil of your choice and i will cook the shrimps until they become pink I will season with salt and stir. So I'll be stirring it from time to time so they don't get burnt. Cooking the shrimps usually take about five minutes. So once that is ready, I'll take them off the pan. Next, I will add in some oil in the pan. And once the oil is hot, add in some diced onions. And I'll fry the onions for about a minute or two. And at this point, I am cooking on a high heat. Add the minced vegetables. And for these vegetables, I don't need to season it again because it has already been seasoned. If yours is not seasoned at this point, you're going to have to add the season. I will stir fry it for about a minute or two. So for vegetables, you don't need to overcook it. We still want to have the crunchiness. Add the liver, which is nicely diced already. And stir. Next, add the cooked rice. I will stir fry the rice for about five minutes on a high heat. For fried rice, you want to make sure you stir fry it at least five minutes if not the rice will spoil fast especially when the weather is hot next i will add in the cooked shrimps and spring onions and stir so for fried rice you want to stir fry in badges so like the quantity of rice I cooked today, I'm going to be stir frying it into badges. The second badge, I'm going to repeat this same process, but off camera. And this rice tasted so, so delicious and it smells amazing. 
So once the rice is nicely mixed, I will take this off the pan and repeat the process. Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed. I will see you in my next video. Bye.